Rumble has announced. Uh, there is a feature that is a part of Rumble that was supported by YouTube and it was called Video Sync. It was a way to um, have your channel imported from YouTube to Rumble or other platforms. I think that even Odyssey had it. I remember that there was like a channel sync feature with uh, Odyssey. And it was just a nice convenience feature because technically, even though you're uploading to YouTube, you own the content on your channel. Uh, it's like they don't own the copyright. They just have a license to share it and monetize it and so on. Um, so uh, YouTube allowed you to download your content. I think it still does. However, I've noticed because I um, there have been times where I've gotten strikes on my content on YouTube. And when I you have a strike, especially a, a, a copyright strike, uh, you're still able to download the video for your own records because they can't like they don't own your content. So they can't just take it from you. Uh, but I noticed that it was very, very slow to download from YouTube. Like it, it was literally faster to um to to use youtube dlp to download a copy of your own video than it was to use the download button on your creator dashboard to get a copy of it it was a big piece of shit. and now remola said that youtube after two years of facilitating the youtube sync function has gone another way to make it so that it's not viable anymore but if you try to download or synchronize your channel with youtube it'll take a very long time because the download download rate is abysmal um it's not that they can't, I mean, I don't know if they can figure it out or not, but they shouldn't have to. If you want to synchronize your channel, it's your fucking content, and they shouldn't diminish your ability to download your own videos um, because they're afraid of them ending up on competitor channels and, and you know, benefiting other platforms when it's your own fucking content. Like, I can understand um, preventing or trying to prevent people from, you know, stealing shit from other people's channels that you should be protecting if you're monetizing it for them or so on. But to like stop people from downloading their own videos, that's, um, that's a sign to me that I think YouTube is afraid. Uh, rum Twitch is definitely afraid. There's even a rumor that Twitch is going to get rid of prime subs, which if you don't know, if you have Amazon prime, um, you can subscribe for one month to, for free to any YouTube, any Twitch channel. Um, so it would be, it would be like a, an easy way. And I've done this where if I was watching a, um, like for instance, if a new game came out and I was skeptical about buying it or pirating it or whatever the fuck I would go to Twitch and I would just go to that game and I would look at like the most, like the most popular channel that looked interesting to me and I would play it. And usually as just like a thank you, I'd press the free prime sub button without any intention of ever giving, you know, more, more money or any money rather to that streamer. It just empties like, like what, like $2 from Jeff Bezos' pockets to that streamer. So it's like, whatever, but it was like a nice source of income, I guess, for a lot of streamers. Now they're just getting rid of it because they're, they're losing so much money. And then YouTube is doing similar shit, the ad blocker stuff. There was a big, I heard this story before, but now it's like entering the news cycle again, where um, there was a rumor that YouTube was deliberately slowing down uh, people with ad blocker, trying to access the um, uh, YouTube with, with an ad blocker enabled. And I didn't have any, any um, experience similar to that. Uh, so I, don't, I, I wasn't sure if that was fake or not, but now that it's entering the news cycle again, and I've definitely had an experience with YouTube where I believe that there was some kind of anti ad blocker shit going on where, um, what was it? Oh, I was watching a live stream and I noticed that after like five minutes, I would get a, um, the, the video would just fucking vanish. The video player would literally disappear off of my screen and I would have to refresh the page and sit staring at the YouTube does not allow ad blockers uh, screen again. And I was using like the latest Brave. So I felt like it was a brand new thing that just rolled out to, to fuck with you. So I don't know. Like YouTube is, is becoming hostile to its viewing base. And I'm actually really comfy. I got revanced on my phone. So now I can watch YouTube without ads on my phone. I um I set up my... I bought like a really cheap like Chromecast knockoff thing and installed, um, what was it? It's like resync tube or something. Sorry, I can't think of it. You have to, you have to go out of your way to install it without permission from Google. 
but um that that thing works f free tube it ha i swear it has like an re i swear it starts with re or something i want to no i want to tell people this because it's really important if you use one of those things that um that uh is like a, a tv operating system you should install this it, it might be smart tube or re smart tube it's something like that sorry fuck i can't remember it's driving me crazy um but it, it um it, it has sponsor block installed and it also has ad block installed so you can watch it's like watching on your desktop basically it, it works perfect it's a bit, it's like way better than even like the youtube premium experience because it has a sponsor block installed into it um revance is for your phone but free is god what is it it's not it's not um it's it's only for uh your your tv but that's something else free time <laughs> uh, hold up it might be smart tube smart tube next i think you have to download this in a very specific way um but yeah that is it and it has sponsor block and it has ad block and I'm telling you this because it's important that you block ads. I'm so I'm so like depressed when I watch like an archive of my streams on YouTube and I want to read like the comments because I like reading the comments to my videos and stuff and getting feedback and stuff. And I see people like, mm, is this archive channel monetizing this video? Because I'm getting ads. No, idiot. That's YouTube monetizing my video and YouTube getting the money. If you're seeing, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're getting an advertisement, it is because Neil Mahan is raping you. You are being wallet raped, eye raped, uh, attention span raped by Neil Mahan. His greasy little Pajit Curry dick is in your fucking brain. You are being raped. So go and install an ad block. Get uBlock Origin, get Brave. If you're on your phone, get revanced. If you're on your, your smart TV Chromecast, get smart tube um, and install the APK directly and don't get fucking eye raped, attention span raped by spicy curry dick. Okay? Because that's what's happening right now. We're gonna he, without your consent, your attention span is being uh is being fucking molested. So don't be a bitch. Don't be raped. Uh get rid of the shit. Uh total advertiser death, basically. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!